Hi, this is Mr. Shumway. This video clip explains some problems like you might see on the benchmark, third benchmark. So let's review some things that we've done in the past that will help prepare us for that. And inequality, so y is greater than or equal to, because it's a solid line, we put the equal. Shared above, we put the greater than. Now we need the slope. So from this point to this point, looks like it's right on the grid. I go down 1 over 3, then times x, and I cross the y-axis at 5. So that's the inequality that matches that graph. <clears throat> A long board store sold 325 boards in February and 373 boards in March. The two store managers are arguing about whether sales will continue to increase at a linear rate or at an exponential rate. They decide to write equations for both types of sales increases based on the increase in the number of boards sold from February to March. Complete the table to show the two equations where M represents the number of months since January. So January will be like month number zero, February will be month number one, March will be March, month number two. So for a linear model, linear equations change by the same amount. And in this case, we're talking about amount per month. So we know that February is 325. March is 373. So if I want to know the amount of the increase, I say 373 minus the 325. That tells me that the increase is 48. So we can write an equation that says that the number of boards is going to be 48 higher every month, starting at some, well, it's January's amount. And we can plug in, uh, so this will be month one, this will be month two. So if I plug in 373, for example, then I have to use the number of months of two. And 48 times 2 is 96, so 373 equals 96 plus J, so I subtract the 96. If it were 100, it would be 273 left over, but it's not quite, so it's 277. So I can help fill out that table, but I can finish my equation. And I can also fill, continue to fill in the table, just like for April, that would be month number three. So the number of boards would be 48 times three months plus 277. So that would be um, three times eight is 24, three times four is 12, plus two is 144, plus 277. Add them up and you have four. 21. So with, once we have the equation, we can continue to fill out the table. But what if it had been exponential? Maybe it was. We'll see what that equation would look like. With two points, you really don't know which one fits better. Um, 325, 373. So to find, well, exponential equations increase by the same percentage each time. To find out what the percentage increase is, we say 373 divided by 325. So that is an increase of 15%. So I know that my boards is equal to the number in January times 1.15 raised to the number of months. And so to find out what the, how many there were in January, we just go ahead and fill in for one of those values. This will be month one, this will be month two. So the number of boards is 373 equals J times 1.15 raised to the two. So the opposite of multiply by 1.15 squared is divide by 1.15 squared.
And so J is equal to 373 divided by 1.15 squared. And that says, my calculator says 282. So J equals 282. Well, so my equation is this. The number of boards equals 282 times 1.15 raised to the number of months. So if I wanted to know for month number four, for example, I would say, well, the number of boards is equal to 282 times 1.15 raised to the fourth. 1.15 raised to the fourth times 282, 493. So this one, we want to write an equation. They're telling us that it's linear, so it's the same amount. So let's find the amount of increase in one hour. So 18.4 minus 16.8 is an increase of 1.6. So I know that my water level is going to be 1.6 higher every hour, plus how many the were at, however high the water was an hour before. Well, we can plug in this value. And then we go with two hours. We could plug in either one, but let's use this one. So 18.4 equals 1.6 times 2 plus B. That would be 3.2 plus B. Let's subtract the 3.2. That would be 15.2 equals B. So now I can finish writing the equation. The equation for the water is 1.6 every hour, starting at 15.2 inches deep at hour zero, so to speak. <laughs>